Rizal at Gavas. So I'm the founder and owner of Canva Hacks or Canva Hacks Community. So I will be teaching you a lot of shadow hacks in Canva. So make sure that you watch until the end. I actually made already the different shadow hacks here, but I will teaching you all of this one by one so i just created earlier this one in order me to not forget any hacks for you about shadows using canva okay so let's start maybe i just need to create new page in order you to have this one the first one is an element so how you can have shadows in the element a split element here maybe i can choose this one sorry okay maybe a little bit let's make it a little bit bigger and then just duplicate it and then change all the color into black or you uh any color that you prefer to be the shadow of your element okay oh my god So just put it at the back by clicking the position and backward and then just move it around okay maybe you can just make it bigger if you want to okay and then you can adjust the transparency it's up to you how you want it okay and the next one is this one so i will be creating an element again so a shape element so you will be having a shadow element a shadow in your shape okay we can have this done so this look like a bond paper i want to change it in white and then just duplicate it the same you just then i will make it block also then position backward you can make it bigger okay like that one and then adjust the opacity again it's up to you you can also have like this one a credit card so i just duplicate this one and make it uh, or make it small like a like a card okay then just turn it around like that one and duplicate again it's just the same um style okay you can put it at the back there you go okay you can have that one another one is for text so i will just insert a text you can group it okay guys so you have still the same size if you want to make it small or bigger so let's put that put it there okay so i will just have kind of a house make it bold there you go then duplicate this one you want uh, other colors just change it with other color and put it the back and then move it with right or left key of your keyboard or just move it with your mouse and let's group it again and make it a little bit bigger okay so that is another one and this one how you can do that I actually searched for a photo of a makeup of a cap cap makeup okay I have this one so if you don't have a Canva Pro maybe you can use background remover okay what is background remover you can just type here in your Google So you can remove the background of the image. Okay, there. 
but for now I will be using background remover which is available to all kind of row account this is what I really love to the kind of row because it it helps me a lot removing the background and you just need to wait okay and there you go you have the uh, mac up of the cup I will just make it like the one so it will not have too much space and then I will go to elements again and have the circle okay I will make it like this one so small and then stretch it out as big as my as my cap was so I can have the brown one <laughs> you can have the black one if you want to and then adjust opacity okay then you have the shadow already for your cup mac up another thing is having this kind of shadow background okay just go to the element again maybe we can choose other maybe this one I want this one here just make it black all black so it's look like a shadow okay and then adjust the opacity so you will have the background here turn and you can duplicate like that and adjust more or be more okay there you go perfect okay another one is this one so I need to search a map up for clipboard okay clipboard backup so I just choose mm-hmm maybe this one okay and then let's go to the effects again and background remover just need to wait to remove it but you can also have it in the background remover so there you go as you can see um it is not really perfect how the canva remove the background because sometimes it's in the colors of the image okay so I can just have this one or this one I will just duplicate this so I can have this um, band paper look like here this is how you can re-edit the image okay so it's not just a shadow and then I want you to duplicate this one again so the clip will appear as up I want to duplicate that and then adjust this one okay there you go perfect so maybe I can adjust this let's make it a little so it's look fine okay that's it perfect so maybe I can just group this one so it will not so it will not disarrange if I want to move the image and then you can actually search in Google shadow background or shadow effects as PNG you can actually search an image of a shadow effect so you can just go in the image and choose PNG background or maybe you can have this photo and remove the background so you can still have the the shadow effect okay you can find png is for transparent background there you go this one is a sample of shadow background okay you can save it but actually i, I have it already here i uploaded here sample so let's go there you go okay just make it big so I will just make it big so it aligns in my clipboard maybe I can ungroup this one and then group it with this shadow together then there you go you have a shadow effects again another house okay another one is this one so I can just copy 
this one Control C you can use that and then Control V okay you can have that and then duplicate again after that you can go to the effects effects and find do button okay you can have this one and then click this option here and change it to black okay change it to black then apply there you go you have a black shadow uh, black image already of your image <laughs> okay so let's put it in the black word there you go another one is this one so I need to find out uh, tablet Mac app find out there it's just the same thing remove the background if there is a background or or you can also find it in Google if you want a Mac app style of a tablet okay but I will just copy this one you can right click and then paste okay so maybe I can have this one here then the tablet duplicate again just the same thing and I will rotate this one upside down okay and then I and then cut this out here just the end and then go to the adjust and blur it there you go perfect okay let's make it a little perfect you have the shadow effects for the tablet what else did I forgot another one is for text okay maybe I can have this maybe I can just type another text here can have another text here maybe my name okay and then I will just have a white background and I want to save it as PNG so let's save the text as PNG so download it PNG transparent background this is another kind of pro features and I will choose page 4 okay so if you want to upgrade your account as Canva Pro, I have the link in this video. So you just just feel free to hit it. So you will have 30 day free trial of your Canva. If you don't have Canva Canva account and you want a Canva free account, you can just feel free to hit the uh, link on this video. So I will upload the image that I downloaded. This is another way how you can put a shadow on your text. There you go okay let's make it bigger maybe I can adjust this so it will not have me at so much space okay and then adjust it by blur there you go perfect okay I can have this in other colors so you can see. you have another shadow effects for text so I think that's it that is the different ways how you can do shadows in Canva. I hope that you learn a lot on this video. So don't forget to like and share because sharing is caring. Bye!